as the surface breaks reflection well, space. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. We're going to go to 18 degrees today. Right now, it is 2. But we are so lucky because the matriarch, Joan Hewitt, is here with the brood to talk to us about some great Mother's Day cooking. All week, we've been featuring great moms and mothers and grandmothers with their food. And, Joan, today we are going to make... A meatloaf. A meatloaf, which nothing says grandma like meatloaf does, does it, Joan? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, and Joan has been phoning all the time, saying, if there's one thing I want to do, it's be on TV. That's what she said. Please put me I on don't TV. Think so. <laughs> this is what I want. And we have two of your great granddaughters and daughter, Corrine, with us here. And this is Charlie, and this is Jenna. And we're all going to get on this. So what do we got to do to get our meatloaf started? We have to add an egg first. But right. first we have the hamburger. All right. One pound of hamburger. Very good. And one egg. Good. I'll hold that. That's my Thank job. You. Good. And then uh, um, one cup of milk. Yeah. Please. And look at, I can't, how you guys have the cutest set up here, a little <laughs> measure. Did you do this, Corrine? Is this your job? Yeah, so we got together last night. Look at this. Yeah. I don't know if we can show. This is Corrine's work last night. Hard at work in the kitchen, setting up the measuring spoons, and they came here wrapped up already. Already <laughs> measured up and wrapped. Look at that. That's her job. Nice work. Now, why did you email in, Corrine? Why was this your idea to send in? Well, you guys are asking an email question of the day. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite recipe that your mom makes? And I love mom's meatloaf, and I love it more now that I'm grown and have my own kids because they actually eat it. Do they? So, and it's hard to find stuff that the kids will eat that's good for them. So. Isn't that great? So I love this meatloaf. What goes in next? Uh, this is uh, one cup of rolled oats. Rolled oats. Standard rolled oats. Nothing fancy there, nothing right? Nothing fancy, no. Okay. This is a grandma dish, don't forget. <laughs> Do you still make it, Grandma? Oh, yeah. Oh, that is just great. Now, maybe we should see, uh, while, and you can keep throwing things in. Onions. Onions. And if people want uh, the, the recipe, we're going to have it on, the, on our website if you want. But we should probably show off some phenomenal photographs that we've been working off. Are you ready for the big family picture? Let's take a look at the big family picture. Okay, hold it up. Hold it really still. We'll get a picture of this. This is our amazing easy, easel. Look at, look at that. Who is that? And tell us a bit about this picture here, Corrine. Um, this picture was taken quite a while ago. The baby in the picture is actually Charlie. So that's um, uh, the last time we tried to get all the family together for a photo, which is no small feat. Yeah. So, and, and there's actually one missing. Charlie's got a picture behind there. Now, before we the show one the one more. missing, can you sit now? If we take a look at that, sorry, can we show that picture again? Do you guys think you can get me Grandpa's jacket? Is that possible? <laughs> Look at that blue coat. Isn't that sharp? Okay, show the other picture in front of it. Who's missing here? Who's that? There. And that is who? Chantal. This is, we want to make sure she gets in it there. That's her right there. That is the best picture holding anyone's ever done on our show. <laughs> Except for maybe the next picture we're going to see. What, what have you done over here in the kitchen? Though? I've simply added garlic salt, onion salt, seasoning salt. Right. And, oh, and, and the sage. Yeah. Sage. All very important to do. Yeah. That's yeah. all mixed in, and, and then the what onion. happens? That's it as far as this part goes. And oh. then you just put it in the pan? Right. Now, we can skip that, because we know okay. it basically that goes into the pan and goes into the oven, right? That's yeah. true. Okay, so give me this, because we'll say, you know what? Grandma, you've been working hard enough. You don't have to worry about any more of that. Move that over there. Sorry, can you slide that over there? Thanks, Jenna. And then... The icing. But then we do the sauce. Icing? This is a sauce. I always call it the icing, because it makes it sound more like cake, and so the kids are more apt to try it. You are a smart <laughs> mom. Okay, what so goes in? So we start with one cup of ketchup. Yeah. Spoon, cup of ketchup. <laughs> How's your TV experience going so far, Joan? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then, carefully measured out, what's also in here? Half a teaspoon that, of mustard. This is mustard. Right? All right. Did you really measure this last night? Oh, oh yeah. We did. And what is this? That's our nutmeg. Nutmeg. Can I throw that in? Yes, you can. Who knew you put nutmeg in the icing, it as Corrine likes to call it? big difference. That is just great. And that's it. We put it on top. And, and so when we have it, you just spread it on top? Yeah. Simple, right? Very that's simple. Right. Okay, and now can we show through the magic of TV our finished one? Is that possible? Sure. Yeah, I think it's in the oven there. Yeah. It's probably oh. hot. Is it? Well, that's okay. We'll get, a, we'll get an oven mitt, which we keep we very go. handy right here. And this is, how long will you cook it for, Joan? 50 minutes. Five zero? Five zero. At how right. hot? At 350. Is that, I think that's the grandma temperature. Every, everything grandma cooks is at 350. Is that true? Not everything. No, it seems like it. <laughs> but most, All most right. things. And now, oh, look at this, with icing and everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> Isn't that great? She, who wants to cut it? Should I cut it or do you want to cut it? You go ahead and cut it. All right, cut that. All right I'll, I'll cut that. Behind. Now, what we should show is uh, we should show the picture that Jenna's going to hold up of a wedding day. She'll hold that one up of a very important wedding day. Tell us a bit about, that'll show up on TV, and Joan, you can tell us about your wedding. Tell us a bit about, when was that? Oh, that was in 1958. 1958, and where'd you get married? In Calgary. Here in Calgary? Right. And where was the reception? It was at McCall Field. <laughs> Roger that? was in the Air Force. Is that right? Yes. In the end, uh, and after that, how many kids did you end up having? We had five. Five kids. And we have nine grandchildren. Is that right? Is it more fun being a mom or a grandma? Oh, both. Is it? <laughs> I think grandma, though. Is it kind of fun because then when they get squirrely, you give them right back? That's true. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, they don't get that squirrely. I bet you they <laughs> They're don't. Pretty good kids. They're good kids, aren't they? Now look at what I did. Because I was so I was listening to your story, I cut this into cubes. <laughs> Probably don't normally serve uh -oh. me. Well, I well, don't know what I was thinking. I just look at this cutting job I did. <laughs> no, come on. This is how all good meatloaf is served in cubes. <laughs> you guys work so hard on your meatloaf, and look what I do to it. But this is this is the fancy French way. That looks good. Doesn't it? And sure. next... Oh. I mean, it looks good the way you did it. Oh, I see. Sure. Well, and this well. is the thing. Well, whoops, except for that part. Get over here, you. <laughs> Sit in there. See now, and Charlie, next time when you're at home and they make meatloaf, you say, oh, we have to have it the fancy breakfast television way, and they'll have to cut it up like this. <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? Look at... See, that doesn't look half bad. You know what? The Hewitt clan, it is so good of you to come in, Joan. Thank you so much. You did such a great Thank job. You, and look at you're going to keep your William Sonoma apron, and we're going to give you a $75 gift certificate so you guys can go shop, buy yourself something nice there. How about that? Oh, thank you so well, much. It was just a pleasure to have you, Corrine. Thank you very much for coming by. And look at those two TV stars over there. Thank you both very much for being on our show. Good job, Charlie, and good job, Jenna. We're going to go for a break. We'll be right back on TV. Outside sampler, want me ask for sides with our pizza? We 